let's solve this question together. The ambient temperature, solar radiation on the collector surface, solar gains on the absorber plate, and solar fluid inlet temperature are given in the, the table below. The solar field is made of five collectors of two meter cubed, tilted 40 uh, degrees and south oriented. For the solar collector, assume the overall heat loss coefficient to be 6.3 and the plate efficiency factor to be 0 0.841. The mass flow rate through a single solar collector is 0 0.03 kilograms per second. Assume that the controller turns the pumps whenever the outlet temperature is less than the inlet temperature. Assume also that the thermal capacity of the fluid is 3720. A. Calculate the daily useful gains, and B. Calculate the solar field efficiency for that particular day. Assume that the data given in, as in the table can be considered constant for the whole hour. So we have this data. We're supposed to find Q, U for each hour, and then we need to find um, an eff the efficiency for the whole day. So all we need to do is find Q for each one and then add them up, find the sum, and then find the efficiency for the sum of the Q that we found. Okay, um, first let's try the givens, try to figure out what we have. We have five collectors, so N is equal to five. We have an area of two meter squared and it's tilted, beta is equal to 40, south oriented, so it's facing south. Um, we have a UL of 6.3 watts per meter squared, and we have an efficiency factor of 0 0.841. We have a mass flow rate of 0 0.03 kilograms per second. Okay. Um, let's first take the start by the first row here. We're not going to solve the whole rows, but we're just going to explain the ideas. So the first row, time 7 to 8, we have a T ambient of 1 Celsius. We have an IT, so the radiation of, oh, sorry, of 15 watts per meter squared. We have S of 12.45 watts per meter squared and we have a T Fi of 30 Celsius. Um, if you look at the givens, we have F prime. The F, F prime's only use is to find Fr, so we're gonna choose the one of the three QUs that we explained in the last video. Um, we're gonna use the one that has the Fr in it which is QU is equal to FR AC S minus UL T FI minus T ambient. The only missing here is the FR. FR is equal to mass flow rate times CP over ACUL times one minus E to the power of negative AC ul f prime over m cp start substitution um m is 0 0.03 cp is oh we didn't write cp here but it's um for 3720 a is 2 ul is 6.3 and this F prime is 0 0.841. Substitution, we have a value of 0 0.8023. Now going back to the first row again, FR is 0 0.8023, AC is two, S is 12.45 minus UL, is 6.3 and then TFI is 30 minus T ambient 1. Plug that in the calculator, we're gonna get a value of 
negative 273.18. A negative value basically indicates zero. We don't have QU. That means we don't really have an efficiency. The efficiency here is going to be zero. Instead of going and substituting everything, try to do this before. Um, first, um, you have this rule. Check. This is a tip. Check if S is less than UL times TI minus TE. If it's less than the value of S, less than this, then QU directly equals to zero, which means the efficiency equals to zero. Here, if you'll check, you'll find that S is less, so we'll basically have zeros for both. Um, if you try for this row as well, eight and nine, you're gonna get zeros directly. So let's solve nine to 10. This row will not give us zeros and see what we're gonna get. Um, just before moving on to this row, here, um, we forgot that there are five collectors, so we basically multiply the area two times five. This won't affect it. We're still going to get a negative value, but we're going to multiply it in this row. So row nine and ten. Um, first, let's check our rule. S is two, three, two point six. 232.6 and let's check UL TFI minus T ambient which is I think 201 I just want to make sure yeah it's 201 so the rule which says S less than UL TFI minus TA should give us a zero is not applicable since S is greater than UL so here, we're basically going to have a value for QU and the efficiency. Let's substitute to get the QU. FR is 0 .0 0 0.8023 times the area 2 times 5 times S232.6 minus this whole thing. We calculated it to be 201. Let's get an answer together. Since I actually didn't multiply by 5 before, times 2 times 5, 2 times 101, it's 253.52 joules. Um, so this is QU, and we gotta do this for each row, find the QU for each row, and then take the summation to find the first requirement. Calculate the daily use, for, actually, the daily, yeah. So this, for this requirement, you have to find the QU for each row. For B, the solar field efficiency for that particular day, after finding each QU for each row, you'll have to add them up, find the summation of QU, and then you need to find the efficiency, which basically has a formula. Efficiency is equal to QU over AI. Um, you'll find the summation of all um, the rows. And you have the area, you have the eye, you can find the total efficiency.